subscribe to our channel for more videos. If you have questions or requests for me to discuss yung mga lessons na medyo nahirapan kayo, if I can discuss it to you, I will do my best. Just enjoy watching and uh, don't forget to like this video and you'll be an accountant someday. I bet you. Hi there! So we are now here for a discussion about 10 important facts or matters that only accounting students will and have to understand. Number one is math is everything. As we enter this field, nag-decision tayong pumasok dito sa accountancy. Hindi naman ibig sabihin dapat magaling ka sa math, magaling ka sa calculus, sa algebra. No. Kasi we are allowed to use calculators naman. And um, since may nangyaring issue before, hindi na tayo pwedeng gumamit ng scientific calculator. So, as long as we have the means pa using this basic calculator, mas better. Kasi ito na yung gagamitin natin hanggang board exams natin. But we have to put in our minds that math is everything for um, this program is all about numbers. This mathematics tells stories about spreadsheets, about businesses, taxes, audits, and everything na talaga namang itatakil natin dito sa accountancy program. In accountancy, we are only doing basic mathematics including ratios, fractions, basic addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. And hindi naman siya kailangan talaga na gawin ng mano-mano kasi nga, pwede naman tayong mag-calculator. So, don't stress yourself out. You just have to take note that math is really everything. Second one is spreadsheet is our best friend or nemesis. I mean, though math is underneath all of this, kailangan nating matutong gumamit ng spreadsheet softwares, particularly Excel, sa panahon natin ngayon as students ngayon. Um, pero ngayon, ako, last year, first year, no? Uh, I use journals, ledgers, tsaka worksheets, handwritten. Pero, syempre, modern ang technology natin. Lalo na kapag dumating na yung time na we will be employed. Actually, we have a teacher. So, yeah, si Ma'am Santi. She's always telling us not to apply dun sa company na walang spreadsheet software or accounting software. I mean, kasi... Uh, mahirap ang manual, lalo na kapag actual business na, kapag actual transactions na yung inaayos mo. Pero, mas madali ang mga problems kapag, I mean, ang mga problems na binibigay sa school, kapag examinations, mas mahirap yun compared dun sa real life situations. Kaya, huwag na kayong uh, mag-alala, huwag na kayong mag-doubt. Number three, we accountancy students we know where we are going. Big sabihin, meron kasing mga college students na nag-enroll lang sila, pumasok lang sila dun sa course na yun kasi they are supposed to. Big sabihin, dahil dapat college na sila, kaya dapat mag-enroll sila dun sa particular course na yun without knowing where they are really going. Tayo, accountancy students, we know the path na tinatahak natin. Meron tayong isang pupuntahan lang. Siyempre, maging CPA. Pero yung field natin, siyempre, business, bookkeeping, auditing, yan. Certain tayo dun sa pupuntahan natin. And we all know na lahat ng companies, lahat ng businesses, they are uh, looking for and they are hiring accountants or those who will keep the books of accounts, di ba? Kasi lahat yan, may finances. Iyon ang kailangan ng mga businesses and tayo in demand. What I can say is we are not like many, many uh, aimless students. No? Because we have a career path and we have places to go. That is one of the perks of being an accountancy student. We are sure that we will be employed after finishing this degree. Or we can still continue our studies. Pwede tayo mag-law, diba? So, number five is accounting programs leads to a variety of careers. Meaning, hindi lang isang 
is a cellular recorder natin makuha. Though certain siya, certain talaga, pero meron tayong mga choices pa rin na pagpipilian. As an accountant, we know better. You know that with an associate degree in accounting, you can have any one of the number of careers by the time we graduate, syempre. So, pwede tayong mag-continue ng learning dun sa job na pinasok natin. Pwede rin tayong, syempre, matututo tayo dun sa first job. Tapos, pwede pa tayong tumaas ng positions. Tapos, um, we can look forward to working as an accounting or auditing assistant, as a bookkeeper, as an accounts payable professional, as a tax specialist, syempre, as a controller. When we say controller, it is the highest position sa isang private firm, as a billing or payroll clerk, or even as a financial analyst. Number six is not everyone in the field of accountancy is dreaming to become a certified public accountant. You're excited about your career. Siyempre, you were interested in accounting programs because you want a real career. Pero you like the idea of having options and of having a job that is stable but with room for growth. We are looking forward to earning a decent salary. Siyempre, kapag uh, pumasok tayo dito sa accountancy, sabihin nila, yan na lang kunin mo, sabi ng parents, no? Yan na lang kunin mo, sabi ng parents, no? Yan na lang kunin mo, sabi ng parents, no? And then you realize that not everyone else thinks accounting is so great. Your dream of starting with an associate's degree and working toward becoming a certified public accountant is thrilling for you. Siguro yung iba ganun, iniisip nila, hindi naman kailangan maging certified public accountant kasi mahirap daw yung SIPALE. Kasi nga, ang SIPALE is ka-level ng bar exam tsaka nung uh, board exam for medicine. Magka-level lang sila. But when you share the dream with others, you tend to get at least, look, pagka yung mga friends mo, just like me, my friends are accountancy students. Lahat kayo gusto nyo maging CPA. So, why not, ba? Diba? Tapos, not everyone thinks accounting is as exciting as you do, but that's okay. You know, you're going places and you'll find people who feel the same way you do in your accounting classes. Kasi, for example, ako, sinasabi ko masaya accountancy, madali lang, pero may mga students pa rin na sasabihin nila, no, hindi madali. Kasi yung iba nga, napilitan lang dahil choice ng parents or kaya wala ng ibang choice. Well, um, kasi iba-iba pa rin tayo ng perspective. So, that's okay. Pero ito, facto, yung number seven, that accounting classes is actually really fun. Once we enroll in our accounting classes, doon natin ma-realize marirealize yung hindi narirealize ng ibang tao. Kasi nga, sinasabi lang naman na mahirap. Yun na kasi yung mindset eh. Uh, accounting is actually fun. It's great to be able to learn a practical skill that you can actually put to use. Practical siya eh, di ba? And magagamit talaga siya sa future natin. In accounting programs, you get to work on the computer learning, your software, designing spreadsheets, solving problems, and really using your mind, syempre, critical thinking, analyzing, ganyan. And syempre, your intellect to learn and to work. It's fun! Lalo na kapag nabalance mo. Yes, nabalance, di ba? Hindi ko naman sinasabi tong fun yung accounting dahil magaling ako, dahil matalino ako. No, I'm not. Pero, we have to be positive. We have to uh, lessen the thinking na mahirap talaga siya. It's our little secret to think that we are having fun. Not just to think, but do it. No? Mag-enjoy tayo while we are learning. That's the secret para hindi natin maramdaman yung hirap. Though mahirap, somehow, Content. Number eight natin is we still have to engage in English classes when we are in accountancy programs kasi analyzing skills, kailangan natin yan eh. And 
understanding doon sa mga problems na ibibigay sa atin. Kasi once na marunong ka nga mag-solve, pero paano mo isasolve yun kung hindi mo naiintindihan yung problem? Paano mo siya uh, uh, i-co-compute? Ano dito yung i-add ko? Ano dito yung i-multiply ko? Alin dito yung yung panggulo lang sa problem? Uh, kailangan mong uh, mag-engage pa rin sa general na subjects like English, humanity, social sciences, law, pati ethics. Makakatulong yun kapag nasa accountancy program tayo. Though it's largely math, syempre, it's a huge part ng accountancy and a crucial skill na kailangan natin na work out sa accountancy. Ngayon, uh, you have to be able to use other skills as well. We accountants, well, future accountants, we are problem solvers and we have to be able to think critically. Kailangan hindi ka lang mag-iisip ng ito yung problem. You have to uh, look at it in a deeper way or uh, dun sa kabilang side, sa kabilang or sa ibang paraan na makikita mo siya na mas madali mo siya masosolve. Tapos, um, we have to communicate well sa mga colleagues natin. Siyempre, classmates mo na, friends, ganyan. So, mas better if you know how to speak English fluently or well. You have to understand uh, sa pag-compose or composition sa grammar. We have to know how to use our writing and speaking skills effectively. So, para dun sa mga incoming grade 11 students saka first year colleges, uh, you have to know this. Ang number nine natin is friends and family don't really know what we are doing. What all students in accounting programs eventually learn, usually sooner rather than later, is that those on the outside have no idea what it's all about. Yung mga parents natin, kapatid natin, yung mga kamag-anak natin, yung mga churchmates natin, uh, usually, tanungin ka nila, ano course mo or ano program mo? Kasi, um, common mistake, sorry. Sinabi mo, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy or simply Accountancy po, BSA po. Ay, matalino. Yun agad ang first na nasa isip nila kapag nasa Accountancy ka, matalino ka. They will sound impressed kapag sinabi mo sa kanila yun. Tapos, um, they will pat you on the back and tell you, you are doing a great job and really going somewhere. So, ayun na. Pinita, galingan mo ah. Sigurado, yayaman ka dyan. Ganun. Tapos, um, they won't however get what you are doing unless you have other accountants in the family. Hindi nga nila talaga maiintindihan. Kasi, very uh, broad ang field natin eh. Madami siya talagang sakop. And madami kang kailangang i-discuss muna bago matutuhan or maintindihan kung ano ba talaga yung accountancy. You will always be trying to um, tell them or to explain them what you are doing every day. But it's a small price to pay for having such a great career. Number 10, accounting programs want students to succeed. There will be days no, in your classes when you really feel that the world is against you. Yes, I've already experienced it. Siyempre, lalo sa accountancy classes during examinations. Tapos, siyempre, meron tayong time limit sa pagsasagot ng problems, sa paggagawa ng mga financial statements. Hala, ilang minuto na lang. Kailangan nang ipasa si paper. Kailangan nang isubmit. Diba? There is the time pressure na talagang binubulungan ka na. Tama na yan. Hindi mo na masasagutan yan. Hindi mo na babalanced yan. Tapos, makikita mo yung score mo mababa kahit nag-effort kang mag-review. Kahit nag-effort kang mag-aral. Tapos, yun. Yun na yun. Wala ka na magagawa. You can't do anything but, you know, be sad and laban ulit. Review ulit. Aralin mo ulit yung susunod na lesson kasi may exam ulit dyan. So, kailangan mo ulit ipasa yan kasi may policy kayo, may DOS policy or kung ano pa mga policy yan. Baka mawala ka sa course mo. Pero that's not the point, diba? What, what matters is 
that uh, you are learning. You are learning from your mistakes. You are learning from what you are your um, professors or instructors are teaching you, or you are learning from your own. Shantre, yun yung maganda don. Um, mas makakatulong pa rin if you are helping yourself na matuto, maintindihan yung lesson. Or syempre, may mga friends, may mga uh, seniors tayo na willing pa rin mag-offer ng help, ng tutorial, or kung ano ba man na pwedeng makatulong sa atin na maintindihan lalo yung lesson. Ganyan. Um, when your instructor just doesn't make sense, when everyone else but you seems to get it, diba? And when you feel like giving up and calling it, mga uh, friends ako or kilala ako. Ano, nakakatuwa kasi syempre pare-parehong accountancy students, pare-parehong nahihirapan kahit pa paano. Uh, syempre, every time na mag-fail sa exams, every time na mag-fail sa activities, we were always uh, finding reasons para magpatuloy, para i-strengthen yung hope nila para i-strengthen yung uh, capacity nila na matuto lalo. Um, the truth that you will soon discover though, if you haven't already, is that yung mga instructors natin, yung mga accountancy schools or accounting schools, they actually want us to be successful. Hindi po kahit kahirap-hirap ng problems, kalami-daming pinapagawa. Only us, accountancy students, are having the opportunity to know these truths. Yung 10 na truths na sinabi ko, iilan pa lang yun sa napakaraming um, opportunities or napakaraming perks nating mga accountancy students. And once we enter or once we enroll in this uh, program, we are entering or we are joining a special club na hindi lahat ay merong ambition to join. Now, this uh, program is not just landing us on uh, a great job, but we are entering a career that has rewarding, syempre, rewarding and uh, promising career with a room for growth and of course continuous for lifelong learning and that's all for this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like this video and share. Share it to your friends and hit notification bell for uh, more videos. You can comment down below for questions. Kung gusto nyo may tanungin, kung gusto nyo request na i-discuss ko, just feel free. Don't forget that.